first thing about MS bookings, it's not designed for booking resources. It's designed for booking people. Oh, like booking a, oh, an appointment with a hairdresser or something. Kind of. It's like but small business type stuff. Exactly, exactly. You could say customer could book half hour system review as a service or uh, like a new feature demo as a service and that service could would have a duration of time it could potentially have a cost but also behind that it could have people who can deliver the service and you may have a full team of people configured within the ms booking system but maybe only two of those people could deliver that particular service and so you don't even need to expose the names of the people. They could come to this form and say, oh, well, I have the system review service, please. It will show you dates and times of when that's available because it's looking at the people's calendars. They would book it. The system would automatically pick one of those people and book them. Alternatively, you could offer the customer a list of staff members the book, you know, with or without services. So what we're doing here is we're working around that. And instead of having a list of staff, we've added a list of resources. And instead of having specific services, we've just used that mechanism to, uh, and here I've created two services, one for half a day and one for full day. So the only difference between these two is they have different durations. So it won't let me do anything in this scenario without choosing a, a service first. So say I want a full day. Okay, so now it shows me a list of staff. I mean, this is a clear limitation. This is why it's not not really suitable for anything other than a limited implementation. Because first of all, select a service. The terminology is all wrong. You can't change it. So you select a service when really you're selecting how long do you want to book. You select staff, optional, which is actually, you know, here's my desk. I've only added five desks. Okay. Um, you can leave it as anyone, which is interesting, which is fine, which is like, I, I don't care which one. Oh, so I it'll choose whatever's one. available depending exactly. on the time slot. Exactly. Or behind the scenes, you could say not even offer this list at all. Mm. So you could come in here, book a desk, full day. Here's the dates and times when you can book a full day. And it would go and book one of those desks for you. It would still do it based on availability. So if all the desks are booked, it wouldn't show you the date and time. Right. So, so th that kind of works. But the other limitation of it is kind of the flow is all wrong, really, for resource booking. So I come in here, I want a full day, and then I'd be thinking, right, well, when do I want it? So let's say next Monday, nine o'clock, and then I could leave it at that and just book, and it would pick a desk for me. But now if I want my desk, I've got to go back up, pick which desk I want, desk three. There's a little gotcha here I found that it unclicks the time. I'm mean, and I learned that you know that you know the hard way. You kind of yeah. don't think about it. you go and book and it says, oh you need to select a time. It's, oh I thought I did. I have to select the when time select, again. When the select staff thing, you know you're looking at yeah. the desk there. Can you yeah. can you kind of be more granular in terms of where is desk three? You know can you be can you select? You'd have to four? put it in the name. Right. Okay. So you put desk but, three first floor or yeah. something like that. Sure, sure. If you wanted, like if you had five desks and you're a small operation, then maybe, yeah, this could work for you. Uh, and then, yeah, then you have to say who you are. Uh, and this is, I put this as a limitation because this is vulnerable to typos and misuse because you use free text boxes, right? It's not yeah. like single sign on or anything, but it works, right? That hangs together. That bit's quite nice. Um, uh, you can reschedule, cancel, or make a new booking. That will send me an email confirmation. As the booker, it will put calendar appointment in my calendar uh, within the link of the email and within the within the body of the the calendar item. Can you it cancel will, it by the link? Yeah, you can cancel it by the link. So yeah, so it's given me the this ICS file so that I can add it to my calendar. Again, it's another step that you have to do, but you get a link then in your calendar.